Ah, uh, yes. Book. How are you doing? Hello. Do you like the pain? Ah. <laughs> I, I've only got migraines all over my body. Uh, no, I feel much better. I was out for a while. I had to get something to wear. Why are you saying you can feel my pain? Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your arm. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent the okay. in clinic. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> You're very polite. Sample is gone to clear up a mess of his skin right now. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. <laughs> Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So Good. if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Understood. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair is here. He went with Sample. You're a uh, rowdier peasant who uh, took off soon after waking up. <laughs> I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. Or running Silverman around. Silverman guard unit room. I told Sample to watch her. It seems that he left his post and she had a run for it. Uh-oh. Uh who is he? <laughs> He's a man of business. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest in overworker around here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies for him, and he has been a big help to our efforts. Oh, okay. In any case, I don't think his intentions are safe. <laughs> Wildfire? Grassroot slugging culture. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less dangerous. Ah. Can't thank, thank you, you enough. Adios. I gotta find March 7th and Van Huff. Those are my stars. Hello, March. <laughs> Never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. You, Hello, I'm back up. Um, <laughs> not that long, yeah, big wild. sister. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sambo had taken John Hawkless' money. I went around in circles trying to find the blue hair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Heck yeah. Uh, need a teammate? Uh, because it's. Uh when you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Okay. No wrong way. Uh dumpster. Okay. When the dumpster is shut tight and exists a superstition of states where it's both devoid of trash and full of trash at the same time. <laughs> Um, 
Oh, hey. <laughs> no cheating. Gotcha. Okay, what before years if it was a mini game where I had to like spam the space button? I'm just like, okay. No. The dumpster is shining. Someone threw three pieces of geo marrow in it. The person threw it what so heavily that shards of the ore sh yeah, scattered all over the trash can. You have no idea where the anger of that person stems from. Neither can you understand the behavior of it. After all, geo marrow is the most valuable as gold in this underground. Would you throw away money even if it, in, in, in a fit of anger? That's right. Now let's end this conversation here. It's really boring to talk about dumpsters and money. Uh, it evokes a special mo emotion to me. Unrelated to this location appearance in olfactory triggers, it is a sense of hiding from the world as well as a hint of paternal... Per Perternatural coziness. A wrinkly piece of paper is stuck to the lid of the dumpster with a number 81 on it. You see a shabby room with a set of wrinkled yellowish bedding. A pillow made from a gunny sack, two opened bread flavor soda, a pair of finder's boots, a torn out book whose words can no longer be distinguished, as well as a knife. Looks like someone used this dumpster as their humble living quarters. Oh. Hello. Haha, <laughs> I thought you knew me. Because I count on this you can answer this question. What? Okay. Well, let me talk to you. Let's look at Q and A. I thought I had you here. <laughs> well, I was fine with answering the Q and A. I'd have to guess, but it it would work. Ah, hey. Hello, Hook. Don't run. I thought you weren't here. You gotta stay where I am. I'm the boss of the mall. Don't be rude to a bunch of villains. Do your work. I know you can do it. What are they feeding you kids down there? <laughs> okay, where are you? Oh, chest. Nice. Uh, oh. How do I get up there? I see where you're at, though. Great mine, no. I know where you're at, though, now. Oh, do, okay, so I do have to talk. Oh, um. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy. Uh. <laughs> Nonsense. How many eight year olds do you see walking around that look like this, huh? All right, the day is on your shoulders, mister. <laughs> It worked for a while, uh, not gonna lie. I, uh, I'm sorry, boss. I failed. John, how did you see those dirty with this guy? How dare you make me a Uh, <laughs> trial and error. <laughs> so pitch dark plus the grate. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yeah. I thought that the moles were true to her word. Tell the blue-haired guy to start their friendship fight club. The fight club 
but you're not supposed to talk about Fight Club. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad that was actual. <laughs> Sounds like something you would do. There's more. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. The magnetic pull of this electric spark is undeniable. But to reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kid, don't try this at home. But what? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and, and and friends. I can take them on my own, you know. Well, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. We know that, but whatever. Uh, I just want to go home, destroy them all. Clemency. Okay. Never heard of us. Oh, they're all weak to air. I should have gone for the middle one then. If it does that. Like tempo. Ready to lose yourself? Lightning strike. My music. Conjure us all. Okay. That's because we've just joined. Cold Dragon Younger and the Cold Dragon Youngest. Oh, forget it. <laughs> okay, and I like the name personally. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh. 
time to run. Get back here. Can't have gotten too far. Uh, I'm gonna get the chest. Oh, hey, hey, it's you. the chest led me to where he is at. <laughs> well, No. Definitely. No, headset, why do you do this? No. What? No. Okay, that works. Um. Save him. Uh, sure, sure. Definitely. Most definitely. Okay, down the stairs we go. Huh. Where exactly? He's disappeared. Ah, this is Geomero, Nexothermic Ore. The underground and the surface are sealed up from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface. Interesting. So it's a battery, basically. Trash can! How many trash cans are there in Bellabog? Attention, trash cans can put be put side to side. Oh, nice answer. Honestly, it is uncertain if your answer is correct. This is the underworld, after all. This trash can has not seen its overworld relatives in a long time. You know what? Here comes the question with a definite answer. How many trash cans are there in this town? The rules are the same. Trash cans placed side by side are considered as one. But those you can see but cannot be reached do not count. Can't count only these cylindrical cool trash cans that is the wrong answer but it is understandable who would count the number of extinct existing trash cans so 
Let's stop this game right now. It's too childish. Childish. What? Oh. Stuff. Things. Uh. Do not open this dumpster. Uh, the, just let it stand in your piece of clothes. Uh, I just don't want to open it. Of course, you can do whatever you want. Look, the dumpster lid opens under your absolute will. This, there's nothing against that. Absolutely nothing. But look in the bright side. You have imposed your mind onto it. This is the most important aspect in any game. <laughs> I like how the game gets more and more sarcastic as you just do stuff dumb. Uh, let's see. Warp 7. I just need that one more. Let's do the 10 pole. Oh, so does it start phasing like whenever it's gold? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Pom Pom just got thrown. Okay. I get a gold card instead of a character. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um. Well. I'll go ahead and call this a stream. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you all have an amazing day.